Hello, my name is Musisi Wemakwele. I'm from Guiani. The issue that brought me here at Charis, it was stagnation and the confusion that was having concerning my life. The other thing that put, brought me here, it was my calling, it, especially that that was the major thing that I I have come here because my uncle told me that I should come and visit Apostle so that I can understand what is happening with my life concerning the, the calling that I have. So today I've made an Apostle. So when I just sit they asked me where I was fellowshipping. Then I asked, I told him that I was fellowshipping somewhere from Guiani. Then he said, he, then when I was speak, while I was speaking with him, and then I told him that I stopped going to that church. And then he's like, yeah, I can see that you have stopped because you were a serious person about the things of God, but you have seen something which you are not supposed to see. So. You get that you started to get confused about your faith and you stop doing things the way you used to do things. Mm, yes, it, the prophecy is true. God started to reveal me to reveal to me strange things which were happening around, which I was even afraid to share to people. Even my own mother, who I stay with, she doesn't know why I stopped going to church, as if she's she's the one who's going still going to to that same church but myself the things that i have seen uh, it's the things that can confuse you as a christian and as you are fellowshipping under someone else that you didn't expect this that this kind of things can happen yeah. okay i'll put it as apostle has put it he said i saw that the spirit of lust was hovering around so then that's when i started to get worried what is happening here if this thing is happening here, what about me? What's going to happen about my faith? What's going to happen about me? Uh, for the second prophecy, he said that um, I'm facing disappointment in marriage. And then what the devil is doing is that he's sending the wrong man. It's, it's just that the devil is, is, is literally wanting to cover me that the wrong man should come to me, and especially married men. So the prophecy is true because by the grace of God, even though I'm facing disappointment, by the grace of God, God still showed me that this is the kind of person who will come to me and this is what is happening because and he will show me if the person is married or is not married. But literally the people that I've been seeing, they are married people. So that is true. That is true. Even though they don't come and approach me because God has is 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 he revealed it to me before it happens i try by all means to run away when i see a man because i'm afraid to find myself doing the wrong thing the prophet num prophet number three is that he said that i'm also facing challenge about the employment looking for a job i've been searching and searching i've been going around but i'm not find anything so then he said that i just need a deliverance then when I'm delivered, everything will be okay. So he prayed for me, and when he prayed for me, that before he prayed for me, he said that by next week, I'll start to see some change, and I believe that there will be some change indeed. After meeting the apostle, I'm very much happy because the confusion is gone. I wanted someone to tell me that the things that I've been seeing were not drunk. I wanted someone to guide me that indeed, it Everything that is happening, it's not my mistakes. It's just that the devil is also attacking me because of the assignment that I have from God. So I'm happy. <laughs> um, my advice to all the viewers all over the world is that, is that there's nothing hidden under the eyes of God. If we can see God wholeheartedly, and being faithful to him, he cannot hide anything from us. We will know what to do and we will know what we're supposed to know that is hidden. As the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3 is, he said, Call unto me, I shall, sh I shall show you things which you don't know of, and searchable things that you, nobody can find, he shall reveal to you. So let us be faithful to God so that he can be faithful to us, so that he can save us to the Lord of things that are happening, that are hidden under the sun, but that, are, that which God can able to see so that he 
can spare our life, our souls, and our spirit. I stretch my hand to you. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Come on, you demon. What are you doing today? Huh? I'm stopping everything. Huh? I'm stopping everything. Yeah. Why are you stopping everything? I can't yeah. hear you. Huh? Why are you stopping everything? Because you will be a great person. You will be a great person? Yes. So, when you are aware she's coming in? No. So, remove these things you put on the legs. Remove. <laughs> Leave her now. Jesus' name. 